as Section 484 of the Criminal Code Act in Nigeria prohibits false representation of other persons to defraud individuals. The Nigeria Customs Service has gotten a legal backup to deal with such persons who pose themselves as officers to harm others. Under the Nigeria Customs Service Act 2023, anyone called impersonation the Comptroller General of Customs or any officer to render any service, if found guilty by a competent court of law, can face imprisonment for years. On Tuesday 2nd of May 2024, a federal high court sitting in Abuja conducted a hearing of one Ibrahim Shuaibu, a 50-year-old man for violating the rules of the land to commit fraud. The accused, according to the services counsel Abidemi Adewumi Aluko, was prosecuted based on numerous count charges. It's a case bordering on assumption of character of the Controller General of Nigerian Customs and false pretense, contrary to sections 240 of the Nigerian, Nigerian Customs Service Act 2023 and section 1 sub 3 of the Advanced Free Fraud 2006. The defendant was arranged before the Federal Court number 3. We urged the court to remand the defendant in prison custody pending the determination of the case against the defendant. We have overwhelming evidence against the defendant. Overwhelming evidence that can lead and ground conviction against the defendant in this case. Speaking after the sitting, the lawyer of the accused expressed optimism that the verdict would be in favor of Shuaibu Ibrahim. We really appreciate uh, my lordship because we get what we expect. All the nine count charge charged against the defendant by custom available offenses, which we draw the attention of her lordship that the offenses are not a capital offenses. And we stated a, a lot of reasons on gr grounds which our lordship agreed with us and admits the defendant on bail. So we expect it. This is the just court of first instance. And uh, we, but we feel and we have the courage that we will not even get that uh, jail sentence because we prepare very well and we will still prepare. We will try all our best to defeat the prosecution. However, Justice Binte Inyako, who presided over the sitting, adjourned the hearing to Wednesday, 3rd of July 2024. Muhammad Bashir, NCBN, Abuja.